Hey Flossio, thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Shiloh and you can find me on Instagram and YouTube as at xstitchmd. I'm a cross stitcher and a knitter living in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks for stopping by to visit me and see what I've been up to over the past few weeks. I actually have gotten lots of stitching then and I have got a framed piece back, I got a finish and I have a new start so it's very exciting and I feel like I actually have content so that's wonderful. <laughs> Uh, first thing I'll start off with by saying is thank you so much to everyone that watched my last video and commented. It was so much fun reading all your comments, especially all of those of you who shared stories about huckleberries, which was the sampler that I was giving away. Um, I need to try huckleberry now because I have no idea what they taste like and they sound like they're delicious. Uh, so the YouTube random comment picker chose Kathy Rowland as the winner. So congratulations, Kathy. I have commented on your comment. You can send me um, either a message on Instagram or send me an email. My email is linked in the, or I put my email in the comment to you. Um, I'll get that mailed out to you ASAP and I hope you enjoy stitching it. Yay. Yay, good voice. <laughs> Uh, so, like I said, I've gotten quite a bit of stitching done and I also got a framed piece back. Uh, some of you may have already seen this on Instagram where I posted it, but I mean, I'm going to show it again, obviously. So, this is my Wander cross stitch, which is a quote from J.R.R. Tolkien in Lord of the Rings. And got this lovely white frame and a double mat. So we have this like turquoisey jade color that really nicely matches the DMC 3808 and an inner white mat. And I just love how this turned out. It's so cute. It's so perfect. I've never gotten like a circular mat before and I love it so much. So this is hanging on the wall right outside my bedroom. So every morning when I get up and get out of bed, I walk out to the hallway and I see it and it just makes me happy and I love it. As you can tell, I'm very, very pleased with this. <laughs> so I got this framed at my local Michaels and um, they always do a really good job. That being said, I currently have another piece that's being framed there and when I went to go pick it up, it was all wrinkly. I think I talked about this in my last video. I'm still waiting for that one. So still another one coming. Um, and also I shortly will be dropping off a piece to get framed because I have a finish. Uh, so I was the other day digging through my whip drawer, looking for something, who knows what, you know, just digging through. And I came across this whip, which was so close to being finished. I think I only had like less than a third to go. Um, so I figured it was time to just get this thing finished. And here it is. So this is Swedish Folk Cushion by Modern Folk Embroidery. And I'll show it to you a little bit closer. So I stitched this on a 25 count gray linen and I used three strands of DMC Ecru or Ecru, however people pronounce it. I really like the thicker coverage that three strands gives on 25 count. So I usually use three strands on 25 count. Um, this was super fun to stitch. I had to laugh because I posted a picture of this on Instagram and was like kind of jokingly like, oh, if anyone notices that I'm missing any stitches, let me know. I was missing so many stitches. Oh my goodness. Like, okay. So first of all, I had forgotten to stitch this little corner. So if you want to laugh, go back and look at my picture and you know, see all the places I missed stitches. It's all completed now. I went over this with a fine tooth comb. So I was missing this little section here. I was missing um these two stitches here and I was missing um the single stitches here here and here anyway it's all finished now it's one of those things where I couldn't see it when I was looking at it but as soon as someone pointed it out it was all I could see so it is fixed it is all symmetrical I haven't brought it to be framed yet so if you see anything else that's missing <laughs> please let me know so I can fix it I've just had this like sitting out on my coffee table with my needle threaded so that I could fix it if any else, anything else came out. But I really, really appreciate all those eagle-eyed people that saw them very glaringly, obviously missing stitches. So thank you. So that was my finish. I also had a new start and this is what it'll look like when it's done. So this is Quaker Style 6 by Marjorie Massey or the Prairie Girls Sampler. I'm not sure what the actual title is of it. I've just been calling it Quaker Style 6. And here's what it'll look like when it's done. I got this pattern from creativequarters.ca. 
uh, which is a great online shop that has free shipping to anywhere in the US and Canada. Highly recommend them. Just trying to uh, get my needle out because <laughs> I left it in the middle of this. Here's where I am so far. I'm stitching this on 32 count ivory Belfast linen with anchor number 76, which is this really pretty kind of, uh, I want to say like maroon. It's not red. It's more of like a really dark burgundy purple. It's really pretty. So I have a couple of motifs done so far. This isn't going to be huge. I think this, my fabric is like 12 inches across and by 16. I think the finished piece will be like eight by 10 or something like that. So it's kind of nice to have a bit of a smaller um, Quaker piece. And it, the nice thing about this too, is it comes with all of the letters for the center. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna put my first name, or my first initial and my last initial in the middle here. I'm leaning towards my first initial. Um, that's the current plan, but it comes with the full alphabet, which is very nice. So you don't have to try to chart that yourself. So there I am so far with Quaker style six. And obviously I need to stitch Quaker styles one through five as well on the to-do list. <laughs> All right, that was my start. I've also worked on four other whips over the past few weeks. And kind of what I've been doing lately, which has been working really well, is like picking a whip, working on it for like two or three days and moving on to something else. And I'm finding I can get really good progress in a couple of days. Um, and that's just enough amount of time to keep my interest as well. Because I find if I'm, I cannot stitch on a piece for more than a couple of days without being like, I need to switch to something else. Um, all of you people that stitch on something monogamously, I'm really impressed by you because I just do not have the attention span for it. There's that. <laughs> oh, so one of the pieces I worked on is my Twisted Rainbow Sampler by Vivian Powers, and here's what it'll look like when it's done. So I got quite a bit done on this, and this is quite large, so it's hard to fit it all in the frame. Uh, so I completed, I can't remember if I had this band completed last time or not, but I got quite a bit done on the orange band. It's almost finished. The yellow band goes super quick because it's just letters and I started on the green band. So I've gotten all the way across the width of the design, but as I've mentioned numerous times, this thing is going to be 31 inches long. So I still have a lot more stitching to go and a lot more colors because after the green, there's like a turquoise, there's some blues and purples. It's going to be really fun. I really enjoy stitching this. I like how huge it is but there's also so much white space between the motifs like you know especially in this yellow band row that it actually stitches up pretty quickly i will say some of these bands get a bit tedious because of how long they are um so that's why that's why i didn't finish the orange band before moving on to the yellow and green because i was just getting bored of it but for the most part you can make pretty good progress on this i love the colors and i'm really excited to have it right there soon <laughs> really hard to point to something while you're looking at it backwards. So that's my Twisted Rainbow Sampler. I put in a couple days on that. The other whip I worked on was my Sampler Hope by Stitches Through the Years and here's what that will look like when it's done. And here is where I got to. So I had been held up on this one because I was missing the color for the vine which is Gentle Arts um, uh, apple cider. Oh, I just remembered. Sorry. My twisted band sampler is stitched on 28 count white cashel linen with the recommended DMC colors. Sorry, a little detour there. Back to this. <laughs> so I had been um, kind of stalled on it because I was waiting for that color and I was worried that I had miscounted. Um, I hadn't, which was great. So I got that color in the mail the other day and I made a ton of progress on this. I just love this little over one hope. So uh, the verse, the full verse will say, hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the song without the words and never stops at all. I think stops, something like that. Anyway, that's what the verse will say. And then over here, it'll say Emily Dickinson, who wrote the poem. So I'm probably about halfway finished. Um, I really, really like the colors in this. It's very, very soft and muted and pretty. The blank spots in these purple spots are going to be beads, which will be really pretty. The bird's beak I haven't backstitched yet, that's why it looks kind of funky. So this is stitched on 30 count white linen with the called for colors, which include uh, DMC, Weeks Dye Works, Gentle Arts, and Crescent Colors. And the words are stitched one over one. And I think 30 count is a really great 
count for stitching over one because it's pretty easy to see the holes and uh, it's not too teeny tiny. But that being said, I am stitching a piece by stitches through the years on 36 count that calls for one over one. And I kind of love how small those stitches are. So just kind of love it all. <laughs> so that's my sampler hope piece. Uh, another whip I worked on that I actually just worked on yesterday. This was inspired by Lori of Mischievous Stitches. So she had posted on Instagram that I had inspired her to start this pat this pattern. Um, and when she posted her progress, I was inspired to pull mine back out. <laughs> so I enabled her. She enabled me. Thanks, Lori. It's all great. Uh, so this is uh, Southern Land by Owl Forest Embroidery. And here's what it'll look like when it's done. Here's where I'm at. So this is on 32 count Ivory Belfast Linen, same as my Quaker Style 6. And I'm using the DMC conversion that they called for. So Owl Forest Embroidery uses their own hand dyed threads in their patterns. But when I got this pattern, it was when lockdown had just started and they weren't shipping internationally. So I just decided to use the DMC threads, which I think are quite pretty. And again, this is the jellyfish, which I think are actually flowers, but there will always be the jellyfish. And to me, this is a jellyfish sampler. I really like all the colors in this. It's really relaxing the stitch. It's really pretty. So thank you, Lori, for inspiring me to get this back out. Last whip I worked on was probably the one I'm most obsessed with right now, and that is the Quaker Seasons of Friendship by Crown and Thistle. This pattern is so much fun. I love it so much. So I'm working on this section right now, which is the winter section. Um, as you can tell by the Christmas tree and reindeer. I don't think I fully figured out what seasons the other ones are. Actually, no, that's completely wrong. This is definitely fall. This is definitely summer and this is spring. Look at me figuring things out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm working on the winter season right now. You can get this chart from Dying to Stitch. Well, at least that's where I got it from. Their website, I'll link it below. Linked below will be all of the patterns that I've showed and where I bought them and all that stuff. Um, I think I saw someone on Instagram saying that they had like bought the last copy. I'm sure they can print more, I would hope, but call Dying to Stitch, that's what I did, and that's how I got this pattern. You can probably email them as well. Um, they are a very well-stocked shop, but they don't have like an actual online catalog unless I just missed seeing it, so emailing or calling them is the best way to go about it. Anyway, here's my progress. I'm stitching this on a absolutely glorious piece of linen, which is 37 count. Russian tea cake linen by Access Commodities and it is like so thick and lovely. I just, oh, it's amazing. Um, it's this really pretty off-white color and I got quite a bit done on this because it's just so much fun. Look at that adorable teapot. Someone said that this is a saxophone, which I totally can be down with, but someone else said it was Santa's pipe. I'm referring to this thing in case you're just wondering what I'm blathering about. I think it could be either. I kind of like the idea of like Santa having a saxophone, so I'm gonna go with that. Loving all the crowns. I can't reach <laughs> the crowns. And oh, this is just so much fun to stitch. Um, I got a couple questions about the thread I was using. So this is the first time I've used Sulky Thread. I didn't realize they had numbers. I was just going by the color name, which is Merlot Wine, but they do have numbers. And so this is number uh, 712. And this is how Sulky comes. It comes on these, oh my goodness, you can tell. <laughs> Left-handed, get pen marks all over me. Um, this is how it comes on a spool and sulky thread is a bit different in that it's thicker than DMC. So, I mean, you probably won't be able to tell the thickness just by looking at this, but basically one strand of sulky is the equivalent of two strands of DMC. So normally on 36 count, I like to stitch with two strands just because I like a thicker look. And I was a bit worried about how that was going to turn out in 37 count because that's getting a little bit smaller. Um, but to me, this is looking fine. I mean, it definitely is a bit tight, but it's doable and I, I like how it looks. So your own personal preference. I mean, if you wanted to try sulking and thought this looked too thick, you could always try it on a 32 count or a 35 count. And I've heard that that works really well. Um, but to me, I think on the 37 count, it looks fantastic. Also so sulky is pretty reasonably priced because I think a spool of this was like 279 US, something like that. And you get 50 yards. Um, which is pretty good. So I bought like six of these spools and we'll see. I mean, I've done that much so far and I still have quite a bit left. So I'm hoping six will be enough, but it's not, this isn't an over dyed, so dye lots won't be an issue, I hope. <laughs> so yeah, that's my little intro about Sulky Floss. I'm really enjoying it and it's, um, it's really nice that it already comes pre-wound. So that is that.
that's all the stitching I've done. I have done some work on my twisted, sorry, not twisted, uh, what that thing called, hue shift. <laughs> what that thing called, okay, I can't talk. Uh, on my hue shift afghan, I've gotten quite a bit done on my border. I finished completely one side and half of the other side. Um, but I'm just gonna wait until it's completely done to show you because otherwise I'm just showing you repeatedly, you know, a few more inches of a black border, which is kind of boring. But that should be done soon-ish. I would just like to get it done by the end of August. That's what I'm telling myself. Um, so we'll see. So that's all the knitting I've been doing. I tend not to knit as much in the summer because it's just too warm. Although that being said, Nova Scotia, we have not had the best of summers. It's been quite cold. Yesterday we got up to 27 degrees Celsius whatever that is Fahrenheit and that was like the hottest it's been in quite some time. My family's all back in Ontario and yesterday their temperature was 38 degrees Celsius. So I don't miss that. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, switching gears a little bit. I wanted to talk about some acquisitions that aren't actually acquisitions. So Caroline off the grid needle arts, who I literally talk about every single video. Sorry, Caroline. I like you. Um, <laughs> She had posted on her Instagram about a new stitching app called the Silk Stitching App, Silk as in like the floss. And I downloaded it and they have some really cute free patterns. And by cute, I mean like beautiful samplers, not like cutesy, but cutesy is cool too, whatever. Um, so, which are amazing. And they have some absolutely gorgeous samplers. So I'm just gonna put in some pictures here of some of the samplers that I saw on the app that I absolutely love. Uh, and so you can actually just purchase them directly from the app as PDF downloads, which is super handy. And then they're on the app. Um, I haven't actually purchased any yet and I'm not sponsored by them. I would love to be like, hey, Silk, sponsor me, give me free stuff, <laughs> that would be amazing. But there's so many beautiful sampler patterns on there. And I think you all know by now that I'm a sucker for PDF patterns because of living in Canada and shipping being expensive type thing. Uh, so a lot of these really caught my eye and I thought I would just mention it. I haven't really heard much about them aside from Caroline posting about it. So I don't know how well known. I mean, they literally just launched their app like a week ago or less than that. Um, and I'm really liking a lot of their patterns. So I thought I would just put that out there to enable you because who of us has, you know, who of us doesn't need to spend more extra money? I mean, that's always what I'm looking to do, right? All right, um, the other thing, I did get something in the mail from a lovely person on Instagram who messaged me and said that she had a Quaker pattern, she wasn't planning on stitching, would I like it? Well, obviously, because I love Quaker patterns, so thank you very much. Kind friend, I really appreciate it. So this is the pattern she sent me, a Quaker sampling by Homespun Sampler. Super cute, it's tiny, but it's adorable. So I, I'm sure a lot of you watch Michelle Bendy, Bendy Stitchy, and she has been doing something lately where she has a stitching journal. So it's something called a junk journal, which I hadn't heard of before, but basically it's like a handmade journal where they put all kinds of like little um, trims and little envelopes and all kinds of like little pretty things. It's like basically making a scrapbook, then you just like write in it and stick things in it. But she's been using that to display her smalls. So I've never really been a small stitcher because I'm, I don't like finishing things. I want to just take it to the framer and get it done for, you know, to someone do it for me. And I'm not really someone that displays a lot of like pillows and things like that. So I love seeing other people's. It's just not something I do. Anyway, Michelle has started putting her smalls in her junk journal which to me is like genius because here you have like this little journal with all of your stitching and you can just slip through it. And she's been adding things like um, little stickers or like cutting out part of the chart and putting it in and like writing about when she stitched it, who gave it to her, stuff like that. So I'm like, well, I totally want to copy her and do that. So I ordered a journal from Etsy. Um, I'll link the seller below. I don't, I think the one that, I think the ones that she makes are like one of a kind. So I can't get the one I got, but they have lots of different beautiful ones. And I think it was free shipping in the US and Canada, which was amazing. So I'm really excited to get that. And all of that lead up was to me saying that I'm planning on switching this for my journal because I wanna copy Michelle because everything she does is amazing. <sighs> yes, so thank you so much for this pattern. I love it and I'm excited to stitch it for my journal. <laughs> I'm just becoming Michelle. <laughs> so, but actually though, it's kind of, I really appreciate that she showed different ways to finish things because that's really turned me off of a lot of smalls because the thought of like, how do I finish this? How do I display it? Has kept me from stitching a lot of super cute things that I would love to stitch. I just don't know what to do with them. So I'm excited to start putting things in my journal and I'm excited for that to come in the mail. 
other thing I wanted to talk about was to give a shout out. I shouted her out on Instagram because I forgot to shout her out on my last video, but I'm gonna make up for that now because she's amazing and I think you all should watch her. Her name is Kathleen and her channel is Stituation Normal. She is, like myself, an Ontario girl, although now I consider myself a Maritimer because I've lived here for two years. Uh, but she lives in Hamilton, Ontario. She's a new stitcher. She is hysterical. She's so much fun. I would love to like just go on a stitching retreat with her and just like chat and have fun and be ridiculous together basically. Um, so I consider her one of my new stitchy friends and I hope you'll check out her channel. She has four videos up for now. They're awesome. Uh, Kathleen, thanks for coming to the stitching community. It's great to have you here. So yeah, I think that's all I need to talk about this week. Um, it's been a good stitching week and I'm hoping to get lots more stitching done. I'm hoping to get that framed piece back from Michael's and drop off this other piece, provided I haven't left off any other stitches, which is possible. I haven't been buying too much stuff lately, which I'm very proud of myself, but that does mean that I'm probably gonna end up buying some stuff soon. Probably some patterns from the Silk app, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Um, congratulations again to Kathy for winning the giveaway. I will be offering a giveaway sometime soon. I haven't decided when, but it's gonna happen. Now I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, take care, guys. I'll see you soon.